Avengers United mail time. That's pretty neat, huh? All right, guys, Lamont from Bashers United. And check out my new digs. I just put this desk in my office space. I'm gonna do my videos here. I don't know how I'm gonna get my face in there. I don't know, maybe I don't get my face in there, I don't know. This is my uh, Techno EB48.2. It is for sale. I think somebody's gonna end up buying it tomorrow, so you know, don't even bother asking. Get that shit out of here. Okay, so. Let's get into T-Mail. Get FPV. You guys may have noticed I've, doing, I've been doing a lot of flying videos, FPV flying videos, racing drones and such. Uh, I've been having a blast. I love flying. It's a lot of fun. And I needed to get back into things in the hobby that were just plain fun. Uh, you know, when, when you go out and you just go out and bash, nobody's complaining about how much it costs. Crappy exacto knife. Let's start with this, which comes to us by Air Mayor Pierre Evian, the Royal Mail. That's Royal Sun. This is from AJ from Rosa, Radio Operated Scale Speed Association. Ooh, these are nice. Um, it's a couple of certificates. Uh, it says. Rosa, officially fast, Rosa World RC Speed Championship 2016. This certificate acknowledges Lamont Walton as 2016 World Champion of Mini Class with a speed of 136.5 miles per hour. It's got the AJ signature on there and they got a little seal. It's pretty nice. I don't think you guys can see that. Check out that seal. That's real. He did that with the heat. Cool beans. Awesome. Got another one here. This one is for, for, for uh, Sean. Um, yes. Sean Slaughter. He got uh, 2016 World Champion of Electric Large Scale Class with a speed of 99.97. He was running an FG. Good job. See, we're getting it done down there in the run DMV. All right, this package, we'll get to those in a second. This package is from my friend, Chris. I traded him my uh, my drift car, my TTO2 Tamiya. It was my first drift car. I got a video, I'll put the video, link of the video up there somewhere in the video floaty time space. Uh, from my friend, Chris, uh, we went down to South Carolina and we flew with him, it was a really good time. Uh, the video footage I have was not very good, so I didn't post it, but He's an awesome guy. I'll put a link to his channel up in the thermal ether of YouTube at the top there somewhere. Um, yeah, so I traded him my drift car for some parts for my quad that I'm going to build, my third one, because I have a, I got a 220, right? I got ye old, these my old man goggles. I got my 180, which I just crashed and rebuilt the other day. Uh, and I'm gonna build a third 220. That's a X frame without the, with a bottom mount battery. I wanna try that out. So yeah, let's get into opening this. <laughs> you showed me a table of stuff and I told him certain things I wanted off the table and it looks like he's sipping the entire table. Can't complain about that. Oh, look at that. Mount for a camera. Is that a run cam eagle? Get out of here. I always wanted one of those. Run cam eagle. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is a, I do believe the run cam eagle. I thought it was the Swift, but it's the eagle. See that on there? A little eagle action. Cool. One of the things I asked for. And this is a Team Black Sheep HS 1177, I do believe. Oops, screws falling out. 
This is the TVS00, which I'm pretty sure is an HS1177. Right? Got one of those. I think I'm going to put the Eagle on there. <laughs> a Fry Sky receiver mount kit. Pretty cool. It's a receiver mount. So basically, you put your, uh, your transmitter receiver in there, and the two antennas come out the top there. Thank you, Chris. Cool stuff. And a Maytech PDB, it's power distribution board, mini hub. I have one of these already, and it's cool to have another one. Maytech makes really good PDBs, if you guys didn't know. A Luminaire PDB, which I'm probably not going to use because it only has, it didn't even have a step down. I guess you would solder a step down to it. Luminaire, cool. And the items I really, really wanted. You got a used set of Emacs Red Bottoms. Now, Emacs Red Bottoms are a little bit old, but they're definitely better than the motors I was running. Racer Star is just a name that they put on these red motors. I'll show it to you. These motors here. Uh, these are the, the DPLV or something like that. DLF, DLFPV ones, but their Racer Star makes a certain set. They're red and they're 2205, 2300 KVs. And they're good. They're good motors. Not the most durable motors in the world, but they are cheap and they are quick. But I always wanted some Emax Red Bottoms, and he had some, and and uh, I traded him for these. Slight step, or slight step up. There are some missing clips and shims. They do not look bent or anything. That's good. Hmm. Cool beans. So I think that's it, guys. Um. Yeah. Thank you very much, Chris, for sending that stuff out. Again, I'll put a link to his channel up there somewhere. This is the frame I'm going to use. It is a cheap Chinese clone. I think next year or this summer, I'm going to actually buy a real Luminaire frame. You can tell it's cheap because they don't chamfer the edges or sand them down. Like, they're so sharp, you can probably cut yourself on those things. So I'll be building this with these. Emax jumps on there. All right. Oh, wait, wait. We got one more thing. We got this thing. Hopefully, what this is is the clips. Nope. That is my Futaba fast receiver for my radio. I got here quick. So yeah, I of course you need a receiver to run another quad. So that's good to have. So I got a receiver, I got motors, I got a PDB, luminaire PDB probably. Uh, I have a race flight, I think it's F3, or maybe it's an F4. I think it's F4. F4 board. I don't think I'm worried about it. All right, guys, I think that's it. Oh, wait, one more box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, so this is a Mad Mushroom antenna by Video Aerial Systems, right? They make some really, really great antennas. I've wanted one of these and I found one. And it is boss tits. Look at that. That is gonna go on these. I thought sharks. <laughs>